Hello and welcome to today's video about Black Myth Wukong. All of the hands-on previews information that you need is going to be right here. A deep dive into some of the mechanics and different things. You're going to be watching awesome footage of some fights and things that you can expect within the game as well. So enjoy. We give you the... Okay, let's dive deep down the rabbit hole of Black Myth Wukong coming out on August 20th, which is right around the corner. And I'm sure if you're watching this, you're probably going to play it, I assume. All right, let's get into it. So first things first is that I don't want to go too deep into the story stuff until the end, but the ancient China storyline of Journey to the West is the main focus of the story. But I feel like there's a spin and a twist, which I'm excited for, which we'll talk about in a minute. But just think of a action RPG mythological ancient China story with all this magic, bells, creatures, and so much more at your fingertips, right? This game is not a Dark Souls-like game. I know a lot of people try to pair games into that. Honestly, I'm happy that it isn't. You don't need every game to be like Dark Souls. We have a good amount of them that are really nice and awesome. And some new ones that are innovative as well. And then we have this game, which is a fast-paced, modern combat type of game that I'm excited to dive into. One of the interesting things, if you've been watching here, you don't have any lock mechanic in this game. You pretty much have to dodge at all times. And I'm going to talk about the mechanics with dodging. But dodging is the number one tool in this game that, to keep you alive. You do have a deflecting system, which is basically for projectile enemies throwing stuff at you. You can use it to deflect. But other than that, you're not blocking through the whole game. As I talked about dodging, you get three dodges to start off with and i believe that it will you know cool down very quickly but that's how that works and you got to be very careful about not wasting all your stamina in that way as well as the perfect dodge if you guys know a lot of video games that have perfect dodges very amazing it's going to slow enemies down and regen your stamina a lot faster so you definitely going to want to incorporate that since it's the main mechanic make sure that that's a key in the game for you and you go forward you're probably wondering what type of weapons you're using and what you should be doing you're gonna have a staff this thing is upgradable it's very very critical and there's a lot of different things to the game when it comes to the staff i'm going to get into now and kind of give you just some some thoughts as well from everything we've seen and heard and the hands-on preview right um it's customizable it's upgradable there's light attacks there's heavy attacks okay there's some stances right now we know of three for sure each stance has its own play style its own traits to make it strong and then you can go from there the default is called smash and smash is like a, a jack of all it's for you to just spam attacks and to go hard and you're going to have that right off the very start of the game and then you'll pick up things like pillar slash tower there's two names people have been naming them differently i'm going to go with tower because you can use this staff to basically create a long staff to stand high on and avoid enemies hits completely by standing on that staff I think that this mechanic is super cool and I think it's going to be extremely useful for a lot of us uh, who love, you know, to evade and to get in there. But it's also, you know, surprisingly useful in different ways, which we'll see in, in the future. Then there's thrust. Thrust is basically your stab or your poking. Uh, it's it feels like it's long range, super long range. When you're watching some of this footage, it'll pop up. You'll see some of it where 
it looks amazing so definitely want to give that a shot absolutely think that it's going to be good now there's this thing called focus focus is how something you build up it's like a superpower you're going to be able to do very strong powerful devastating attacks to the enemies with that in combat you also going to be able to equip four spells that's right magic is in the game basically you can do whatever spells that you've been watching in this footage and there's way more there's so many different spells and the way the game works i actually really like this about the game talk a little bit about it more but you will be able to have a lot of builds um because of what the way they're designing it so that to me is special and speaking of more better designs gonna path through this one here where after you beat a boss you'll be able to transform into them to a certain extent whether you know the rock boss that we saw a couple minutes ago or whoever you'll end up getting their skills or their weapons and utilizing it in the game for yourself and this is a part of the build system you can equip different ones transform into them there's some that are just the b where you can travel fast through areas and there's the combat base ones that are really going to be the pillar of your build, I would assume, mostly. And so that's cool. Um, on top of that, talking about beating bosses, there's a mechanic where if you beat a boss, uh, if you hurt them very bad and you take out, like, let's say 30, 60% of their health in a very fast fashion, they can go into a second phase. Not all the time, but this is a mechanic where some of them will and some of them won't. I thought that was interesting, just kind of something different. Another factor is, like I said, if you're transforming the second health bar, you can kind of utilize it to stay alive or to kind of do more damage early and not worry about your health bar so much. Something in that name, um, which I thought was very cool, interesting. Then I want to talk about kind of your builds. And like I was saying earlier, this is very critical. There's passive buffs, accessories. You're going to find a lot of loot in the game because it is a linear game. There's places to explore and things to go to uh, as far as finding secret passages for chests or for other bosses, optional bosses, where you're going to find more loot, a story side missions with cutscenes and everything all within this game for you to enjoy as well so i do think that people should be exploring and looking to see what's out there which is super important and i wanted to talk about the loot just a little more there's gear sets so on yourself if you put on three pieces you'll get an extra buff things like that which i think is super critical there's crafting which i really like because might be some good stuff that you can make there's no difficulty as i said earlier this is not a dark souls like game but it's also has some good features and that's one of them in there in my opinion um the game takes about uh 15 to 20 hours to beat the main story not sure how long all the side quests and all that extra stuff but that's something to look forward to um, there's a respect system, but it allows you to do it for free. You can switch anytime you want very comfortably. I think that's important. Uh, you don't want to get stuck and do any of that. Speaking about getting stuck, there is a system where you're gaining will, which is your experience. And then if you max out the bar, you'll get a skill point, which is called spark. But if you don't max out the bar, that, that won't turn into a skill point. You lose a little bit of it if you die. So that's interesting. Um, so you want to be able to try to get the bar maxed out before you die. Also, there's shrines for you to rest at, recover your health, respawn in. And then there's it will respawn enemies. So you got to be very careful. That's it right there. Then there's supposedly 80 bosses i'm not sure the exact number remember these are translations and hands-on so 80 bosses that i think is super cool to 
kind of see what's going on. And so pretty amazing stuff. Again, footage you're watching is some content that I've had for a while and wanted to share with you guys exclusive footage of this game. I will be playing it. I'm looking to stream it. I do have multiple uh, channels that I'm kind of building up. So I would love for you guys to be a part of that. And then join the Discord to kind of join the family of gaming. Have some fun with me as we continue to vibe out. That's the goal. That's the focus. Have some giveaways as well. So you can check that into the comments. And popping up right now should be the next video for you to check out as well. So lock in. See you there. Peace.